Hey there, Rustin here. We have a very interesting video today. It is Memoria Pack 3. We have some spoilers for it. I unintentionally got spoiled on it. Uh, I was just kind of like sorting cards and just, you know, casually looking in the Discord and someone was like, boost to Mika or something like that. And they dropped a link and I was like, maybe it's like a Falwin decklace and someone found some spice. It was actually a link to the article for the Memoria Pack. Kind of took me by surprise. I unintentionally got a little spoiled. Yeah, uh, saw that uh, Protype Magi Trooper is going to cost one void now instead of being free so that's gonna be coming off the ban list by the way I've, i saw that had gods are i saw that it cost one void instead of being free now immediately clicked away because i was like okay video time let's uh get a genuine reaction as much as i can there is a card above it i think or below I, I think i saw i saw like another card i think it was like a light card moving on fact is i'm going in fairly blind now if they're gonna do more erratas i could see something like maybe <sighs> see this is a little funky because like this is the second okay technically third third time. Well, I, I wouldn't consider the Maria Bell since here engineer one in a rod. That, that's more like a, uh, that's just a new card in general. I feel like eroding cards like this one it's a good way to get into players hands but like another thing i feel like cards can just stay banned just make new cards like sure like retooling a card you know means that uh oh if you have older versions of it you can use them again just with the errata but then it's like okay remember what the errata is if it's something like very convoluted it's like oh fuck me how am i gonna remember this whenever i have like a deck full of like the oldest version of it because it has the best rarity but yeah it's got a bunch of like stuff to remember like the uh origin of seven lands that one's easy to remember prototype magi trooper i feel like depending on how it is it might not be too complicated to remember if they're gonna do this again for another card warhorse it's been talked about like let's ride should just been like a god's art ability i mean there's only one let's ride ability so it would make the most sense there that being said though i feel like we're being around the bush what i would like to see in the reprint slots godly aura godly aura is currently sold out i believe all across the world i would like to see uh witch of the fallen kingdom that'd be a cool reprint get some cancels in there a uh, fair spell get some loride in there number 13 would be a cool one obviously like the curve is kind of going up in force of will again and seal is a relevant thing again so people are running stuff that can remove seal we got that pandora that can remove a uh, light seal so number 13 looks a lot more playable now I'm trying to think of some other cards that could probably do for a reprint aside from that i know that they're gonna be printing some stuff in uh the pilgrim set i'm very curious what they have planned let's go in uh crack open dr pepper and uh who knows maybe prototype magi trooper will be playable again for me cheers let's scroll down and see if there's a oh okay cool they uh they kept it uh kind of hidden don't know what uh what could be coming out here let's hop in memoria collection zero three we are pleased to inform you of a special promo card for those who purchase the box hero cluster six booster pack judgment of the rogue planet that will be released november 24th 2023 each box of judgment of the rogue planet will include one promo pack of memoria collection three really happy about that this is really cool they're gonna do a contract pack and a memoria pack in this booster box i thought they were just gonna do a contract pack if they're gonna be doing memoria packs going forward hats off to them these are excellent times to do reprints for cards that players might have missed out like newer players are like fuck i gotta buy a whole booster box just to get this one card and I might not even get it oh well here's the newest set and hey here's a copy of garion here's a copy of dark alice rabbit princess awesome fantastic very happy about that the memoria collection 03 contains 10 cards per pack the pack will include three types of cards that that have appeared in the past and three types of errata cards and one type of new oh huh wow three erratas okay i guess that's what the boost to mika that was being talked about was check the list of cards below these cards will be non-foiled on both sides this pack will be included only in the first printed products i like that they add that a kind of hinting of like oh maybe we'll do a second print run they're probably not going to do a second print run i feel like that's just kind of like a you know some good like cover our asses kind of thing best regards force will team I'd be happy with extra print runs, but those memoria packs are really what, like, sells it for a lot of people, you know what I mean? The list of cards, it's very gently slow oh this was the card that they teased in a video a new world emerges i feel like that might be an extension rule that's my guess that's my guess is that it's gonna be an extension rule prototype magi trooper so that's gonna be one of the erratas that'll be coming off the ban list death metal sea of metals getting an errata okay uh neat maybe have it to where only uh t2 can use it solari religious nation that card's not banned huh so that's probably what the boost to mika is <laughs> 
Oh boy. Dark Hatcher's gonna be happy. Oporozuki Vampire Astrologer. I'm assuming this one's the reprint. There's a lot of people that are wanting this card. Like, it's been going around in the discords of, hey, I want some copies of this and stuff. Flu Captive Dragonoid Child Group of Com- Is that card actually- Hold up. Is that card actually hard to get your hands on? No fucking way. That card's not actually hard to get your hands on, is it? It's $16? Holy shit. When did that happen? What the fuck? Oh my god. What the fuck? Even before the spike, it was $14. Oh my. Wow. I did not pay attention to that price. Wow. Yeah, there's not even a foil copy. It's just near mint. What? Yeah, there's no foil listings. It's just... Wow. Wow. Okay, you know, while we're here, uh, Oboro, Zuki, as Vampire Astrologer. Okay, it's sold out. Okay, that one's sold out too, that's fair. But hear me out, Godly Aura is also a sold out card. So I think that card should also get a reprint as well. Because one, that's from DBV. It's a much older set. And if you want to play Red Aristella, you kind of want to have this as like an option. That's cool though. Um, uh, is there anything else? Or is that fair spell? <laughs> Fuck yeah. Let's fucking go. Yes. Fuck yes. That's what's up. That's a reprint right there. That's a fucking reprint. That's on the same level of Dark Owls Rabbit Princess. Get Fair Spell in the hands of new players. Get in their hands. Mm, yes. Fuck yes. Oh, I wonder what art they're gonna use. But yeah, fuck yes. That right there. That's that's fucking listening. That's what new players need. Right there. You don't have a locals? I'm sorry, man. Hey, you bought a booster box? Here's Fair Spell. That's what's up. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. They give me some... <laughs> Oof, that was good. It's good. Can you follow up? Can you do better than that? Okay, that was all of them. Wait, I thought it was 10 cards. What? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 cards, huh. Contains 10 per pack. Pack will include 3 types of cards from the past that appeared in the past. Am I reading this right? Sounds weird. Bear spell? Fucking awesome. Obrozuki and Flute to uh, Captive Dragonoid Child? Also fantastic. But Fair Spell? Fuck yes. That is... That's good. That's really good. So here's a new world emerges. It's a 2 drop cocoon. You may play this card without paying its cost if it is the first spell you played this game. Okay. Search your deck for a new world card that shares an attribute with a ruler with partner or tag you control. Reveal it and put it into your hand. If you control a new world, you may search your deck for a contract card that shares an attribute with a ruler with partner or tag you control instead. Hmm, that's cool. Then shuffle your deck. That's really neat actually, yeah. Oh, it's a chant. It's a cocoon chant okay that's interesting prototype magi trooper it's a one drop oh man that full art looks nice though Ooh. enter if you don't control another card named prototype magi trooper draw a card just like how it was before but it has a god's art now as an inferno player i'm very interested about this god's art overcharge pay zero reveal this card from your hand you pay one less to play your next card that shares a name with the card revealed this way until end of turn play this ability only if you Oh, uh, okay. Play this ability only if you control a J ruler named Ainz or Levithan Chrono Gear. Mm. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be playing Prototype Magi Trooper then. Yeah, no, a one drop draw card. Mm. Yeah, I was kind of hoping the God's Art would be like, uh, maybe like God's Art and then uh, pay one less and maybe like uh, destroy the card at the end of turn or something or banish this card at the end of the turn, something like that. But then that would just kind of be another free draw. I mean, this is a free draw for Ainz. It's really fucking good. Ainz handles really well. I feel like this is the 40th card in most Ainz decks now. Yeah, definitely the 40th card in Ainz decks. Maybe 39th and 40th, depending on how ballsy the player is. But definitely a 40th card at least. Bare minimum. Bare minimum. Death Metal, Sea of Metal. As long as you control exactly one J slash Resonator, that J slash Resonator gains Eternal. Enter. If you control a J Lord named Metal Lifeform T2 or Dendrobium, draw two cards. They remove two cards from your hand from the game produce fire or water for each metal life form removed this way so yeah they narrowed it down to where only t2 can use it i say that's fine what is the errata to solari religious nation this card enters the field rested if it is put into the field by a homeland ability each player puts a 400 400 light human resonator into the field destroy a resonator token you control you gain life equal to its defense 
defense. What's the difference there actually? Um, this card enters the field rested. Okay, so they changed it from it always entering the field rested to whenever it's put into the field by a homeland ability. Was that necessary? Is anyone playing Solaria Religious Nation main board? Who the fuck is playing this main board? That's a, that's a weird one. I feel like this one was kind of pointless to Arata. I thought it was going to be something where like, if Mika puts it into the field with Homeland, it would come into play unrested. Adding Rust in here, uh, chiming in because I don't know how to read. The original version of Solari Religious Nation had it as banish instead of destroy. Mika's contract cares about Resonators being destroyed. So yeah, okay, that's a huge buff to uh, Mika. I, I see it now. Yeah, I, I just did not pay attention to that part. That is actually pretty relevant. So Mika is slightly more playable. That's awesome. Now back to the video. I'm not a Mika player. I don't, maybe they do put it in main board, but that, that one's weird. There's no tails symbol. I was kind of expecting there to be like a nice big tail symbol, but I mean, more of the artwork is showing, so that's nice. Beautiful artwork. Looks like they're just gonna have it more prominent. Obviously the full art doesn't have these borders and stuff, but definitely a lot nicer looking like a straight up promo. Yeah, very beautiful. Flute, just uh, straight up looks like the exact same card or was, hold up, I'm questioning myself now. Flute. Oh wait, no, slightly different, slightly different. Okay, so the, uh, the border Order, the uh, card like name template slightly different it's a little lighter so you get to see a little bit more of the artwork okay that's nice the slight changes makes it a little more appealing looks nice oh and they're going with this artwork for ferris bell okay this was a uh, this was the uh, promo yeah very cool you know in my head i was like oh which artwork are they going to use for ferris bell there's been two artworks only one promo i was thinking like lorite for a bit was the same case for ferris bell yeah no lorite has had three different artworks ferris bell has had two artworks and yeah promo artwork awesome looks good e Ooh. see here's a weird thing i am all about using the most basic of basic cards if i'm gonna go to an in-person event and these memoria reprints they feel very like i don't want to say they feel cheap but the fact that they're non-foil i feel a little more comfortable passing it off to an opponent that they might not cut the deck they might shuffle the deck so mm, tough call tough call but yeah no this is this is fucking awesome. Hell yeah. Newer players are gonna have an opportunity to get a full place of Fair Spell, which actually, let's do a little, little dive. How much is Fair Spell actually running? 28, uh, nearly $12 and $20. Hell yeah. Okay, actually, yeah, how much am I looking at? Okay, so uh, cheapest is, uh, we'll say $12 there. Oborozuki. It's sold out, but we can kind of like ballpark it a bit. I feel like with that one, we go with the highest costing version. It last sold out. At a whopping and nine dollars how much would i price this if okay the full art was 18 dollars i feel like let's go for non-foil and if i was to toss one onto the market the fact that the full art is sold out as well uh how much is a box of uh grv going for that's also a factor a hundred dollars let's say that's ten dollars yeah we'll call it at ten dollars i feel like we could possibly argue fifteen dollars we said twelve dollars on fair spell let's say thirteen dollars so we're at $25 value there and then flute was like what $16 we'll say that we'll call that 15 just because we round up on the Oborozuki so we're at about $40 in reprint value there yeah I'd say about $40 this one isn't as impactful in my opinion well I say as impact financially speaking I don't think it's as impactful I would say that's about $40 worth of uh, reprint value here and these are also like gonna be non-foil buy a box so reprint sell value i'm gonna say maybe 30 maybe 25 altogether in reprint value but if you're like buying it as it is now about 40 dollars of value i'd say that's pretty solid in my opinion yeah no i'd say it's pretty solid you're getting the errata versions of cards that might see play again you're getting a one per box new card and you're getting one of the best cancel spells in the game you're getting one of the best will dorks in the game and you're getting like a very popular card i think this is good value it's not as crazy as the last memoria pack oh 
The fucking contract pack. There's a fucking contract pack in here as well. Yeah, no, actually, I take it back. Uh, these booster boxes are also fairly equally cracked. With the contract pack included here, and these memoria pack that's about like 30 to 40 dollars ish in reprint value, this new set's also looking banging as well, reprint value wise. Okay, yeah, this is another great one to jump in at so far. Need to see the set as well, but as far as reprints go, pretty fucking awesome in my opinion. Prototype Magic Trooper your new player probably don't care death metal steve metal probably don't care solari religious nation probably don't care as a new player obrozuki that's pretty fucking awesome flute that's depending on the build that's pretty nice fair spell you fucking splash wind for that you splash wind for that it's a very good cancel spell that is mm, so good so fucking good. There are some stuff I would like to see reprinted instead of some of those cards, but the fact that Obrozuki is sold out and Flute is seriously highly priced, and Fair Spell is also pretty highly priced, I think this is good. The Erratas? Yeah, I get some off the ban list. I feel like you could have probably just done one errata per memoria pack, but if they're trying to like simplify the ban list, sure. Yeah, simplifying the ban list, that's fair. I would say that Clash of the Star Trees, good value, great value there. Judgment of the Rogue Planet, it's looking pretty good. It's very good value, if not similar value to Clash of the Star Trees. Let me know what you think about this memoria pack and the contract pack that's coming on the next set. Are you excited for it? I'm pretty excited. I'm, this is pretty fucking awesome in my opinion. Let's not sugarcoat it. Let's not sugarcoat it. This is pretty fucking awesome. Have a good night. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.